welcome to Mastering Math. My name is Julia Cox and today the focus is going to be on add and subtract whole numbers and decimals of 4.4a. Add and subtract whole, whole numbers and decimals to the hundreds place using the standard algorithm. Here is a word problem. It says Justin drew straight lines on his driveway with chalk. The table shows the length of the line in meters. Justin's chalk lines chalk lines line length and you see here the line we got r s t and u and it says what is the difference a meter between the length of line r and line t so we have line r and line t and that's uh, trying to trick you so we know that uh, t is eight holes so it's going to be eight point zero zero and then we know r is 1.9 1.9 you have to as i tell my students don't be lazy line up the decimals baby so zero pennies take away zero pennies is zero i can't take nine dimes uh, away from zero dimes so i have to go over to the ones i take from the eight ones I make it seven. I bring one one over and break it down into ten dimes. Ten dimes take away nine dimes is one dime. Seven ones take away uh, one one it gives us six. Always tell the students to check yourself to make sure it's correct. Six dollars and ten cents plus a dollar ninety gives us eight dollars. It says, what is the difference in meters between the length of line R and the length of line T? The, the difference is 6.10 meters. Okay, now let's go ahead and try another one. Let me bring this down. Correctly. Okay, it says that Vera purchased two patio chairs that cost $58.65 each. So it says two, so we need to circle that two, that's $58.65 each. And then a table that cost $147.22. What is the total cost of these items? So, we have to add 58.65. You can either add or multiply it. Either way. You can add it together twice, or you can multiply it by 2. So it's 117.30. Then we have to add one hundred and forty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. Two hundred and sixty-four dollars and fifty-two cents is the total cost of these items. Now the very next one we have. Caitlin has a $10 bill to spend at a book fair. She buys one book for $4.95, two bookmarks for $0.65 each, and a keychain for $1.8. How much change should Caitlin receive for her $10 bill? So we know that we need to add all of those up. So we have, she buys a book for $4.95. She buys two bookmarks for $0.65. So we have to do that twice. Two bookmarks for 65 cents a piece. And then a keychain for $1.80. So this is about lining the decimals up and adding it together and then subtracting from $10. 5, 10, 15, 9, 10, 16, 18, 22, 30, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $8.05. 
We're going to subtract that from $10. How much change should Caitlin receive from her $10 bill? She re should receive $1.95 from her $10 bill. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you like the video, please click like, share. If you have any comments or suggestions on future videos, uh, just leave a comment in the suggestions. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful evening.